Welcome to the sunny day at Home Gap Shop. I've been organizing, decorating, cleaning and celebrating for the past few weeks. In my opinion, content production can be distracting and can cause me to neglect other aspects of my life that are important to me. I've always loved taking care of the house and doing things at my own pace. Since I've shared so much with you all over the past several months, I've also taken the time to review it. Recently, I've started sharing reels as well, and I want to thank you everyone for your support on those short videos. Consider checking out my Instagram handle if you haven't already where you can get some snippets of my life. During my last IKEA visit, I bought this wall clock since the previous one broke. We were in a hurry that time and picked it without much thought. After returning, I realized that my almost all white home now had something in black. I read a beautiful quote somewhere that said, "Time is free, but it's priceless. You can't own it, but you can use it." You can't keep it but you can spend it once you've lost it you can never get it back how amazing right my go to command hooks are perfect for hanging items like these i lost practically all of the leaves on this plant because of the high temperatures When I finally decided to get rid of this and I went to pick it up I spotted several tiny red dots So I continued to water it for a while without knowing what would happen This plant suddenly shocked me with fresh tiny buds After that I decided to give it more attention and let it develop and bloom for a few more days These plants are living beings that are constantly battling for survival and growth. Now that summer is over, I'm preparing my balcony for winters. We will only have a very small number of plants left when all the flowers gradually begin to fade away. The good news is that the temperature changes hardly have any impact on indoor plants. Would you like a quick tour of my indoor plants and know the names of each one of them? Recently I watched a video by Ranveer Brar and I had to try the 10 minute recipe he shared with us. You can see the main recipe in its entirety by visiting the link I've provided in the description. But the main thing we need to do is combine condensed milk and desiccated coconut. There are other possibilities for adding color such as beetroot juice which is simply made by blending it in a blender and extracting the water. On the other hand you can use organic beetroot powder that is easily available these days or add high quality food coloring whatever makes you happy. To be honest a basic white one would also look lovely. Officially Ganesh Chaturthi is today. the day i'm filming and recording this video so i'll have a fresh batch for myself on the actual day i decided to present the recipe in a slightly traditional way you can actually buy palm leaves or even banana leaves if you wish and then decorate using those 
I have also cut baking paper this way just to make the base much more stable. Before moving on, I'd like to thank BetterHelp for kindly sponsoring this video. Talking things out is helpful when you're feeling down in the dumps or when you can't sleep or are facing relationship issues. I like to use BetterHelp when I find myself overthinking or just need a different perspective. To get started, you first fill out a brief questionnaire about yourself and your needs for therapy. And with that, they will match you with a therapist. You can either chat, call or video call the therapist. Even if it's a small topic that may be troubling you or something bigger, it's always a good idea to talk to somebody who can guide you in the right way. At times, it can be a very simple matter that we overcomplicate since we overthink things. Having an open and frank conversation can simplify these. The best part is, even if your vibe doesn't click with one therapist for whatever reason, you can easily request a new one. If you want to try it out, just go on the link mentioned below and get a 10% off of your first month. After that quick break, I decided to shape the sweets and present them before sundown. I chose to sprinkle on some additional thandai masala that I had in the fridge. At the very end, a small amount of chopped almonds was also added for crunch. These are simple to keep in the refrigerator for a few days. I can definitely say that this is a 10-minute no-cook recipe. Even better, you can decide to slightly cook the ingredients before shaping them. I hope you enjoy making them as well. After a long day, I made some tea with leftover sabudana vadas before leaving for the evening stroll. Particularly during the festive season, I prefer to cook these vadas in ghee. This snack is perfect, I believe, at any time of the day. <laughs> I am aware that many of you frequently comment on how much I work, but in reality, that's not the case. I enjoy taking breaks and like everyone else, there are slower days. However, I like to rest on Sundays when all German markets and supermarkets are also closed. <laughs> The evening walk is non-negotiable and this day I decided to take you all along with me. We often take a quick stop for picking up a few items every once in few days. After returning, I had plans of finishing Shakkar Pare. The key to making the syrup is to let it thicken for 5 to 10 minutes until it gets a one string consistency. Uh, by that I basically mean that the syrup starts looking much thicker in consistency. After adding the fried part, I like to switch off the flame. Keep stirring till the coating will dry out and turn whitish in color. Everything basically sticks to the surface completely and with that your shakar pare will be done within 5 minutes.
It's essential to clean the cabinets occasionally, maybe every few days or weeks. Simply makes life simpler and helps in maintaining a spotless kitchen. In order to make room for new decor, I intended to modify the kitchen countertop after sundown. I suppose these minor adjustments add to how lovely and special homemaking is. As I finish off the day, redoing the kitchen counter and turn off the lights, I hope you enjoy the quiet of the night and the warmth of the lights while listening to some soothing music. I sincerely hope you all will like the decor. It's not coming back So pour me another glass And see 